You were talking about refugees and uh, how there, there has been a policy not to let Palestinian Arabs back into Israel. Uh, am I wrong? In um, I, th I, I have a, a sort of a memory of reading in the Jerusalem report in 2003-2004 uh, that there was a sort of a stop of Palestinians from the West Bank and Gaza coming to Israel, marrying Israelis, mainly Arabs, and, and becoming Israeli citizens. Uh, from, from what I remember, there were about tens of thousands, if not a hundred thousand, who came into Israel during the 90s that way. This is something that has never been reported in the West, of course, but anyway, there was a stop to that because uh, these Arabs had, had been used for terrorist purposes. Anyway, I'd like you to comment on that. If well, it's true that some Arabs from the West Bank, look, during the 80s, 70s, and so on, worked in Israel in large numbers, and in the 1990s, um, the waves of terrorism eventually put an end to Arab labor coming into Israel and working from the West Bank and Gaza Strip, and also put an end in some way to these mixed marriages of marriages from, of people who come in from the West Bank and Gaza marrying Israeli Arabs and, and, and eventually converting or becoming Israeli, uh, Israeli citizens. Um, you're right. Uh, tens of thousands of such marriages probably occurred. Some of them uh, remained in Israel. Many of these people remained in Israel. There are also uh, problems of uh, um, husbands and wives being separated by law. They didn't give citizenship to some people. Usually it's Arab males from the West Bank and Gaza, Jewish, uh, not Arab, uh, Jewish, uh, Arab females inside Israel, Israeli Arab citizens, women. Um, that's usually the mix. Um, so there have been lots of problems with this, but uh, Israeli policy uh, has always been, at least officially, um, not to allow Arab refugees or Arabs in general to move, to immigrate to Israel. Um, and I, as you say, there's been tens of thousands of exceptions, um, and a few of them maybe have been involved in terrorism. This is sort of rare. I mean, uh, that, that's not really the problem. The problem is a demographic problem. Israeli Jews are aware of a a demographic threat. You may not like the word, it may not uh, appeal to lots of people, but Israel wants to remain a Jewish state, and if it is flooded by Arabs, it will cease to be a Jewish state. Um, and, and then most Jews probably, in my view, would simply leave Israel, uh, since they can live in an, a non-Jewish state in lots of other places much, much more conveniently or comfortably uh, than in, in a Muslim Arab state. Uh, as we all know, the, the Jewish communities in Arab states all vanished, because the Jews essentially did not feel comfortable there, were discriminated against, uh, were persecuted in various times um, and left. Uh, so if Israel-Palestine turned into an Arab-majority state, uh, most Jews would probably go to America. It would be much better for them. I think they would think that way.